from Center City, this is Good Day Philadelphia. Ever wondered how many grapes it takes to make one barrel of wine? You're looking at it. We're at the wine room of Cherry Hill and we are making some vino this morning. Stay close, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, we're getting, you know, a little fun this morning. Well, if you are a wine fan and you're going to be in the neighborhood this weekend, we have a segment for you. Yeah, Jen is over in Cherry Hill at the Wine Room. Jen? Good morning to you guys. So as I said in the tease, all these grapes, they make one barrel of wine. And if you come to the Wine Room here in Cherry Hill, you can actually make your own wine. And that's some of what we're going to be crumb. doing this morning. I have to say that some of the process has already happened this morning. Kenton Nice is here as well as Michael. Good morning to you. Thanks for coming. Okay, so first of all, this wine has already been crushed, or the yeah, grapes, rather. Exactly. This is this is a vat uh, of uh, grapes that have been crushed and are in the process of fermenting. It'll take about seven to ten days for these grapes to turn into wine. So this is sort of like the uh, TV kitchen when we put it in and we take it back out, kind yes, of a thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> Every day, twice a day. However, we have to go through and punch this down, and we are hoping that you might help us. Okay, so explain first of all what punching down does. As the, uh, the wine ferments, the skins come to the surface, and in order to extract as much color and flavor as we can, we need to twice a day mix this up real well. Okay, so uh, Michael's going to be my human mic stand. You're going to hold this, and you're going to, you can make fun of me if I do this badly. And basically, I'm just pushing it down. You're going to go down. Okay. All right, come back up. That Take is another kind of hard. Go on down. You'll see that there's all the juice on the bottom. Okay. And as you move around, because we have to break up the entire cap. Not the same spot. Keep going. So this is like the reverse of having fruit on the bottom yogurt. That's right, exactly. <laughs> what we want to do is we want to get those skins down to the bottom so that we get as much color and flavor as we can. Okay, and basically what you, what people come here to do sometimes, you'll have a group of people, they come in, maybe they'll share a barrel. A barrel's like $2,100, but each one of them gets a bunch of wine, and it can kind of be like a group project. Yeah? Exactly. We, we think that winemaking should be a celebration, celebrating the harvest and preparing that wine as a group. A barrel of wine makes 20 cases. And, uh, you know, they have the, the fun uh, of doing it together. And, of course, then they share the wine when they're done. So you have to do this how many times a day? Twice a day in the morning and the evening. Are you busy all week or do you think you I, could? I think I'm, I've got things to do. I've got to cheer for the Phillies. I'm worried about the Eagles. It's a good thing I wore my Phillies wine shirt because I can, like, wipe this off a little bit. Um, coming up at 845. I know it's not so much a wine thing, but when we see and we think about I Love Lucy and stuff like that, we think about the stomping of the grapes. We're going to reenact that a bit. Yeah, I hope that uh, you're willing to climb into that <laughs> and, and, and put some between your toes. Okay, and everyone makes fun of it in a variety of ways. If you go to myfoxphilly.com, we have a link to a reporter who long ago was stomping grapes. It didn't turn out so well for her. We're hoping for a better outcome here. Um, and we do have a link to your website as well on myfoxphilly.com. So. Michael, um, if you could take care of the rest of these, I would really appreciate that. No problem. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, and what kind of wine is this going to be? What this is this is a Merlot from California. Okay. And you bring in grapes from California, Chile, all kinds of places. Right, Chile is Southern Hemisphere, opposite season, so we make California wine in the fall and Chilean wine in the spring. Okay. So, um, salute. Chanel and John, and um, hopefully I'm going to bring you back some wine. Yes, and I can't wait for this next segment. Yeah. 845, the stomping of the grapes. Is it called stomping? Uh, it will be for you, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. And okay. falling. All right. All right, do you see the bottle of wine? It says Jennifer's Finest, and I've made it just for you. It's very nice, and guess what? I've got my shoesies off. We're going to do some grape stomping after the break. Mmm, Jennifer's Finest. Sounds pretty fancy to me. A step at a time. Yeah, thank right. you. Well, the time has come to see what Jen has created. It's a special barrel. Jen and her feet are over at the wine room in Cherry Hill. She's already shown us the feet this morning. Hi, Jen. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so here's the thing. It's a Syrah. It's Jennifer's oh. finest. How cute is that? that is and neat. it says Jennifer Frederick Winemaker, which, you know, is kind of true. I'm going to give it to the lovely and talented Michael. Thank you very much. Okay, so first of all, as we step into this, I encourage you to go to, encourage you to, go to myfoxphilly.com. We have some interesting video of another reporter doing the same thing. Hopefully, I will have a different result. Yeah. Kenton, nice to see you. Please, we don't want you to fall. Okay, so I'm going in this, and what the point of this? Oh, it is a little chilly. The point of this is really there is no point at all other than a photo op. That's right. The idea here is our, our we we do have equipment that we use to go through this process, but uh, but for you, we wanted you to have the opportunity to do it the old-fashioned way. Okay, and the old-fashioned way was it always this freezing cold? Probably not. But okay. uh, for you, we wanted to be sure that you got, you know, a, a good experience. And um, 
typically what happened was in the old days, the olden days, is that you would put one of these up on a stand. They would squeeze the juice. In. I can now feel it underneath my toes. That's kind Feels of cool. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and then they'd have a competition who had the most juice coming out. Uh, yes, there, we have seen where uh, reenactments are done where they raise the, uh, the platform up just to see who can stomp the fastest. Okay, and it's getting kind of bubbly. Is that good news for the grapes or bad uh, news? It doesn't hurt, that's for sure. Okay, and will someone actually be drinking this very foot we're, in the grape juice we're, someday? We're going to save this for you. I think uh, <laughs> okay. this is what you need to drink next week. <laughs> okay, and so you do this basically when people come in, they can make their own wine. If we haven't mentioned it before, we're at the Wine Room of Cherry Hill. They can come in here, make their own wine, and it's typically about $2,100, but it's a group that comes together. They make their wine, and then they all share a bunch of bottles, right? Absolutely. And then, as far as this goes, people want to get their picture taken with this? We do have those people that, that uh, want, want the Lucille Ball experience, and so they ask if they'll have the opportunity to stomp the old-fashioned way, and, and that's what we've shared with you. Okay, so I feel like I've been doing this for about four and a half days because it's freezing cold. How long does a regular person do this? Well, again, it's, it's, it's not how we make the wine. It's a photo opportunity. I think at this point they would have gotten out minutes ago. But uh, <laughs> Will I be stained forever? Do I need to expense a manicure pedicure from my boss? What's uh, the story on that? I think for the effort that you've given us today, they should pay for that. <laughs> and um, it's bubbly. What, what would happen next? This is where it goes into one of those vats over there we're right, talking at the, about. At this point, step one of winemaking is to crush the grapes. And, and as I said, we do have commercial equipment, but for you, we, we've set, that up, set up the foot process. Um, and then this would uh, go into a fermentation bin, and for the next seven to ten days, it would ferment, and the sugars would turn into alcohol, and we would end up with a good red wine. Thank you very much. Now, John and Chanel, um, yes. Is that everything you well, wanted here to make? Aren't you supposed to go faster? I mean, it's going to take 15 years to make this wine. There and you Jen, go. There Let's you pick go. it up. And Jen, can I tell you? No, I'd rather you not fall. I, 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 oh, that'd be fun. Hey, Jen, oh, can I tell you um, what John whispered in my ear during your segment? That I have a cute butt? No. She <laughs> said, <laughs> well, there's that. He said he wants a couple of bottles of your wine fruit juice. You know what's funny? Yes. Pete Marshall, the photographer that has a not-so-secret crush on me, uh -huh. he asked for that. So many and people will, want the Jim Frederick feet yeah. juice. I'm telling uh, you, this is... A lot of people yes. are into my feet. I will say, at more than one wedding, my husband has had a drink of scotch out of my high heel. <laughs> well, move over. So Next, he can have a whole bottle of wine with your feet juice. <laughs> Yeah. Move over, high heel. All right, Thank hey, you, we're Jim just Frederick. getting the word. Uh, no word. Uh, we're getting the word. No pedicure. The boss <laughs> has answered. Yeah, no Mr. pedicure. Murdoch owes me a pedicure, and not one of those cheap ones. I want an expensive one. No, I think, you know, it's not I think happen. you should do that, and John should just get a straw and just Go slip it right up. Why are you getting involved? In I this? don't know. I just feel like it. <laughs> All morning, we've been asking, I've been asking, why am I here? But we've been asking you to send your financial questions to myfoxphilly.com. Coming up, Joe Murray will be back with a look at some of the most popular questions he's been receiving. Dorothy? I am just so happy that...